Hi, welcome back to Realm Tell. And it has been a while since I've been on the server. It's been probably two or three weeks since I've last recorded a Realm Tale episode. I've been pretty busy with whole MCC Rising, trying to set up for that type of video, and also setting up the Minecraft butt videos because I've been doing a lot of those recently. Uh, so the last way we left off, I have just built up this pillar here. Uh, I still need to drain out the middle of this. It's still filled with water. I still also need to put the outer coat of the spiral on going in the opposite direction all the way around. So I'm going to start off with actually draining out the pillar in the inside here so if we just fly over here and get to this netherrack pillar right in here it leads to in here uh i'm gonna drain out all the water here because i think it'd be helpful if i had all of this uh just down maybe nice and flat you can see where the beacons are as well so it's not a bad plan so i'm gonna start the time lapse up here and we can drain out all of this All right, we're back. So if we just come in here, you can see the full hole is all filled out here. Uh, not the full thing, and just about half. I don't know why I just said full. Doesn't make much sense, <laughs> considering this is only half. Uh, I'm probably going to do the whole thing probably later, but at the moment, I just want to stick with just half because uh, it's kind of getting kind of boring to just place all of this. So I'll probably do that off camera, but I uh, want to start doing the actual swirl of the pillar here, and that means we have to start getting the whole white concrete ready and start going in the opposite direction to make the swirl on this on the outside. So I'm going to gather some of the white concrete and we can start the time lapse for that. All right, so we're back from that. That was uh, about a 30 minute of grinding there just to add the swirls on there. And I gotta say, it looks so much better now because now it has a little bit of blue from the sea lanterns, the black from the black stone, and the white from the concrete here. And it looks really me mesmerizing. Like the, the helix, the double helix, like the DNA shape of this. I don't know, I just love the way this looks now. It's not too bright where it's over the top, but it's not too dark where mobs will be spawning up on the edge of these things, which is something I wanted to make sure it didn't happen. So I really love the way this turned out. I'm also getting chased by phantoms. So I want to sleep real quick and work on another really interesting thing that I want to do in this episode. And that is a vault. I'm sure you've read the title. That's probably what it's going to be. And I want a vault for all of my diamonds. Because if you didn't know, I've been working on trying to get about 9 stacks of diamond blocks. And uh, I think I'm pretty much there. I, I'm a little bit short. But uh, in no time I'll be reaching 9 full stacks. I don't want to keep storing these in the valuables box. If I lose this valuables box... I'm screwed. I have no diamonds. So I want to have a safe spot to put them. So I want to build a giant vault somewhere, uh, probably connecting to the hidey hole somewhere. And uh, if we go down here, I want to show you where my plans is to build it. I want to do it off this staircase, though, in this direction. This goes towards my uh, teleporting chamber. So if I come in here, this is where you can teleport me if you need to. Built this in episode 16, I think, if you want to check that out. But if we walk a little bit further, it goes all the way down to my mine, where I mined very early on to get diamonds. I mean, this is legitimately the first place I got diamonds, which is kind of funny since I'm now building a vault for all the diamonds. But it just goes down, and I have all these strip mines. But about halfway, I want to build a little, a little wall in this area to hold all of those diamonds. And I think the best way to do that would be about, about maybe here. I don't want to hit the, uh, the whole chamber here for the, the, the ender pearl, but. I say about here, I could do a little bit of a hallway, a nice hallway to lead to the vault door, which would then open up to a vault. So I got to do a lot of digging. I'll probably get a beacon set up, and I'll be back when all of that is set up. All right, so I uh, did a little bit of digging here. This is the hole. It's 15 by 15 blocks big, and I hope this is big enough. I mean, make a giant stack of diamonds here with, like, nine stacks. That honestly... I, I hate to say it, but I honestly don't know if that's even big enough. So we can always go more in this direction, more in that direction, and more in this direction, and more vertically as well, I'm pretty sure. We could also do like steps down from here and then just make this wall farther out. I'm not actually sure yet. I should really 
really should start testing this. However, I do want to add a door here. I'm going to do some sort of 3x3 three three piston door here with a lock on it. So I'm the only one who can get in. And uh, I'm going to go do that. And I'll get right back when I'm done with all of the redstone. All right, so we're back. And that's the piston door. Look at that. It, I, I love I love this. Like, look, watch this block right here. Watch this one. Watch this one. It pushes it down so the bottom one can pull it down. It is, it's awesome. I love this. Greatest piston door I've ever made. Um, although I didn't make it because I just took it off of Google and YouTube and stuff. So I don't know who didn't make it, but someone did. I didn't. But I just take it. And I've made it here. So I'm going to probably do some sort of item lock. You know, something like that. Like one of those droppers that just goes into this redstone line, which then leads up to everything in here. So uh, I'm going to go make a custom item. I'm not going to unfortunately be able to show what it is because uh, that would ruin the point of the whole lock if, if, if I showed it on camera and then Realm Tell members could see it. But I'll, I'll make the lock and I'll be back. All right, we're back. Uh, this is the vault. Obviously, if someone was to try and get in, they need uh, the certain renamed item. I just have a test block here. This is not what it's going to be, but just for example... Put the block in it's gone so if someone came by they would not see it however if they came down here into a barrel which i'll have right here they will be able to see it obviously i'll take this out before i walk into the vault i can access my diamonds do whatever and then when i need to leave i put the same exact item or whatever it will be back into this closes up the door i walk down here retrieve my item here and i can go on my merry way and no one will be able to get in unless they they break it but you know we have we have a gentleman's rule here on realm tale hopefully hopefully no one breaks breaks into the, the vault come on it's, it's a vault, people. Come on. Let's not let's not do that. Anyways, that's what it's going to be. Uh, so I'm probably going to start probably decorating the walls. I like also how I said no one will break into the vault, yet I just broke into the vault just to get in here. But, you know, hopefully no one will do what I just did. Anyways, I'm probably going to decorate the walls with something. I'm not sure what yet. Either I want to go with stone bricks, maybe concrete powder. Uh, I could go with stone its actual self. Uh, I was also thinking maybe iron, although I don't have that much iron, so I want to have something that also mixes well with sea lantern to actually light up this place, because I don't want mobs spawning in my diamonds, but uh, I'll figure it out, and I'll get back with that answer very soon. I really gotta stop breaking into this vault. Alright, I've made my choice for what I'm going to use the block palette for the vault is, so we come down here and obviously go to the actual vault. Uh, it's still also not set up. Where is... okay, test block. I'll just actually keep this door open, might as well. I'm going to go with something with this. We're going to use stone bricks for a majority of it, but then occasionally have these lines of sea lanterns up like this, and then this will continue up up here. So it will be something like that, and then continue the stone bricks and put stone bricks all the way and fill up this. And that's what I'm going to probably do uh, all the way around here. And the floor, I'm not exactly sure, but where these things come, since they'll be on every wall and they'll be all over like this, I'll bring them in like this, and I'll kind of do a cross pattern like that. And where they hook up, right in here, I'll add a uh, sea lantern right in where they cross up. Uh, also add multiple end crystals on the diamond pile itself to actually, uh, you know, prevent mobs from spawning on the diamond pile itself. I'll also make sure it is not hollow. So when we, sh uh, when I show the diamonds in here, just remember it, it's not hollow. It's going to be full diamonds. So that's also something to keep in mind. No mobs will spawn inside the diamonds. So uh, I'll be back when all of the walls are now a little looking a little bit better for the diamonds to go in. All right, we're back, and this is the vault. It looks really nice. I actually decided to go with normal stone and not the stone bricks, just because I felt like the stone bricks, it was just, like, too much going on with the, the lines from this, the lines from the stone bricks. It was just, it was too noisy. I didn't like the way it looked. And I think this looks more like an industrial vault that's designed to keep someone's riches in here for good. So uh, I'm also just uh, trying to think if I should do something like that where I where I connect these, but I'm thinking that the stripes on the wall looks pretty nice. I also like the way I did this here. To kind of frame in the door I don't have it go in because then I have to do a stripe down the wall so uh, I think I'm ready to start moving the diamonds in so uh, we can put the test block in here which is by the way still the combo so uh, thankfully no one's on and they can't can't get in here until I clear out everything but I want to go grab my diamonds and I'll be back when I placed all of them in there all right we're back and before I quickly turn around you will be absolutely amazed so just be ready because it's about to be insane this is all of my diamonds. I actually had to lower the floor because that's how many diamonds I have. It's a giant stack of diamonds. Remember, this is about nine or so stacks of diamonds. I think like eight and eight stacks and, and 12 of diamond blocks. And if we fly here, you'll actually see that it, it's pretty much solid. I mean, it's not completely. There's still a couple more areas that need to be need to be filled up. So 
if we just get back up here i can refill this hole i think it was like like this or something i hope i don't i don't remember how that was uh People at the comments will probably yell at me if that's wrong, but there we go. That's that's what we're at right there. So it's a good pile. However, I now only have 50 diamonds here, and my value of those box is completely empty, which is kind of weird. I've never I've never had that situation before. So uh, that's a thing. I now have no diamonds, pretty much. I just have 50. But if I ever need diamonds, I can always just take some diamond blocks from the bottom or whatnot and convert them into diamonds for shopping. I also broke a little bit of the door just to get in because I don't actually have a pass at the moment for this. I also keep breaking this inner chest. So I need to create a custom item and actually lock up this thing for good. And uh, I'll probably do that off camera because, again, I don't want anyone knowing the item. All right, that last clip was a lie. I actually did update the vault just a little bit. So now it has iron and gold and the uh, item filter still has this here. It's now a different item. I'm not saying what, okay? I'm not telling you what, but it is now a different item. It's no longer the, the diary thing. You can break through here, but again, I'm, I'm no one on Realmtale will do that because we're all honest people. Uh, so that is just how you get into my vault. Nothing really changed in here, but uh, you cannot break this wall. I'm sending it from here point on. You cannot break it. The only way to get in is if you have the unique item. So that's all of that finished up. I'm going to also change my skin. Now that I have all of these diamonds, I think I deserve to give myself a little bit more of a flex skin. So let's hopefully I can do one of these cut transitions and we can do that in three, two, one. All right, there we go. And it is now changed into this skin. I'm now wearing a nice and diamond uh, clothes here. I'm actually wearing a suit with a, a special cape as well. Nice and diamond up here. I'll be wearing this for the majority of the next couple days and episodes because I think I think I deserve it considering I'm this rich that I need a giant vault to store all my diamonds. Might as well show that off in this skin. So I'm actually going to go up to the, the surface here and we can admire the beautiful base. And apparently there's a wandering trader here. I don't know if he has anything I want. I'll kill you later. All right, now with that all done, all of the vault finished up, and obviously all of the progress we've done here at the mega base, adding the swirl on the outside. I also don't think I've shown this on on camera yet, but if you fly over here to this this random netherrack netherrack area, this this isn't the oh yes it is. There we go. You can see I actually drained out the full thing. I didn't do this on camera because it's kind of a repetitive task, and I thought it would be boring to watch, but. That is all drained out. All of this is all finished. I got a brand new skin on, and I have a beautiful vault down in here, uh, right through here, uh, where is probably where I'm going to end the video because uh, a lot of progress done. It may not look like it, but this video has taken a lot longer uh, to make because I've been doing a lot of other things with, you know, MCC Rising, all these Minecraft butt videos, but uh, that is, again, where I'm going to end the video. So thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. It's the best way to help me out here on the channel. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more.